<laughs> Thanks for the day sponsor, Ray Shad. Well, my history got us law. Every ring from 1939 to 1945 is my pit. Which is why I joined the History Boy Club. <laughs> wow, look at the cool hoodie. Oh my god, look at the high quality embroidery. Yeah, get get a new History Boy hoodie. Link in the description. It's really cool. It's got embroidery. It's hoodie. It'll keep you warm in winter. <laughs> Alright, now, I don't know how many of you actually remember this, but way back when, when all of those what if X country won World War 1 type mods were going off, uh, there was some Italian kid out there somewhere that was like, <laughs> it's a mad time! Uh, fortunately, for little Mario out there, that it, it was definitely not his time, and he created probably one of the, the most hilarious mods that ever came out, which was Rise of Italia. Yep, that's right, it's back to the worst Hoi 4 mod ever created, Rise of Italia. And I've played some pretty terrible mods but this one was so bad because it was um unironically trying so hard now though things have actually taken a very drastic turn from last time we played things are completely different it's a whole new mod team from what i know and uh, you know it's actually when i said at the start of this uh this this series or nostalgia november that we're gonna go see where things have gone and if things have improved for some of these mods i think this is probably the only mod where that's actually a thing so welcome to rise of italia just look at that yeah there's so much going on already that my eyeballs wanna bleed but it, it's the good type of bleed where you, you just you, you know what? This is this this is I'm I'm sorry as a the official spokesperson for the CCP on, on YouTube. I gotta say that this never happened. Okay, now already there is just a lot to take in right now. There is there is so much all over the place here that it's just I it's just a lot. Okay, the the state of Muscogee. What's that? Right now, I would say I have checked the law for this mod, but I 100% haven't. So if I don't know exactly why the Pepper Coast is a thing, you know, I just don't judge me too hard. There's a whole convoluted timeline for this mod that I, you know, I'm just, I'm not going to go through. But apparently Napoleon died early, the Great War started early, and Italy came out on top somehow. Don't ask questions, it just happened. Don't check the history books, alright? Little Mario checked everything that needs to go on, and this is possible. Now, already we can kind of tell who are the big players over here in Europe, being the German Federation. France looks awfully strong, and they are indeed um, fascism, or I guess more extremist. Uh, the UK is still a thing under Stanley Baldwin, and they are democratic. Russia's not looking too hot, I've got to say. Um, Japan not looking too hot. China, there's nothing to look at here. Don't you dare... Uh oh, a word of this has never happened! Now, to obviously get a proper look on who are the big boys here, we, we need to go into the game and check who actually has focus trees. And I'm unsurprised that Italy. Oh, yeah, Italy's got quite the focus tree. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, the Germans also have a focus tree, albeit it's not quite as big as the Italian one. You know, I know it's called Rise of Italia. But this is quite big. Okay, yeah, one, one thing I've noticed is um, they are actually going ahead and using some of the base focus trees, which I have no problem with whatsoever. I wish more mod developers would do this, where they just take parts that have no, you know, there's no point remaking the shadow scheme for the UK or the general remarkment. What's was the point. But I, they have also added some new stuff, which is... Um, you know, liberate the home of Marx as Britain. I just... Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So the mod still got a lot of work needed on it because Russia focus tree currently looks like this. Uh, France, do you have a focus tree? You do have a focus tree. Um, about as in-depth as the actual focus tree in vanilla. All right, so uh, the, the real question is how many civil wars is Spain going to break out through? Because that, that political pie chart is not looking too healthy there, Manuel. Uh, a little bit disappointed that no one in Asia really has a focus tree. That's kind of a downside, which means uh, nothing is even going to happen over here, I imagine, unless they've actually put some events in, which... Uh, we, I, am I being a bit too optimistic there? Uh, the only one with a focus tree over here in America, though, is the United Federation. And uh, that's right, baby. It's Roosevelt. Even in this universe, though, I bet he can't walk. Okay, the, the day I actually come back to Hoi 4 full time is when they finally add a mod that's a, a complete. It makes it look like it's a completely new, like, alt history scenario. But all it is is a universe where Roosevelt could actually walk. In the <laughs> Right, so moment of truth though, what are the actual factions looking like? Who is who in this, uh... Oh, 
ask. Okay, so the North Atlantic Alliance is a thing that's uh, Britain, Mexico, and Australia. <laughs> You can't really call yourself the North Atlantic Alliance, really, can you? Ah, we all have the Pact de Paris, which is uh, it's just France. Then we have the Liberation Pact, which is communist Egypt. Not going to question it, all right? Uh, we also got ourselves the Balkan Union uh, and <laughs> the Anti-Austrian League, which is... Uh-oh, <laughs> uh we're, we're remilitarizing Ven Venice. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I've seen this one before. Just uh, going for my generals, but why does Gi <laughs> Giuseppe Talera over here look like a goddamn ghost? Uh, here you go. Here's the breakdown for anyone that is invested in the rise of Italian mars. <laughs> have fun. <sighs> right, so a little bit of a small problem we have. I've noticed our navy is completely trash. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of destroyers and submarines, and I mean 91 of them. Uh, but obviously, the, the one thing we do have going for us is our technology. We already have a level 2 uh, small light tank, whatever. We've got first one of that, blah, blah, blah. Navy is also looking all right. It kind of just looks like they copied the German style tech over i won't lie oh uh, yeah i was gonna say we can probably tell if they have the mobile warfare doctrine selected to which they do okay we made it to the 23rd of january Mussolini time already baby my god there he is with his stupid little helmet on <laughs> oh well, well we're preparing for the worst but you know what <laughs> i think we were already prepared at this point playing this although uh, no kick in the mud this time around because you have actually managed to spell most of the focuses correctly it's not riddled with spelling errors which you know i'm sure little mario's working hard on all weekend oh i, I just merely just go to all Astra. Why, <laughs> I get why not? Uh, you know, the question is, though, how does one go about joining the, uh, the anti-Austrian league? Hold on a second. Why is, why is, Bra why is Brazil declaring war on the Pepper Coast? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> oh, wait, I, I get that reference. All right, okay, let's hope we really, really don't Italian this up too hard. There we go. And, uh, you know, just, uh, keep it fair and everything. I will be taking everything. Perfect. I'm sure our German, German friends to the north won't mind that one at all. Uh, the Shoshone Confederacy declared... Uh, you know, I don't even know what any of that means, so we're just going to pretend we didn't see it. <coughs> Ho Chi Minh time. Oh, well, it's, it actually is Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> I, I, I can demand Istria. Although, uh, bad news is I do already own it. So I think Mussolini's going to be writing a very strongly worded letter to himself today. Oh, my God, no. Did I... Why is that a thing? Who did that? Who thought this, who thought this was a good idea? Oh no, they got a focus tree too. Look at this. Do, do I want to suspect that there might be a uh, Turkish guy on the mod team? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I love you, mod team. You, you're doing the greater good here with this. I like I like the wackiness of it. Let's be real. Would you prefer a mod that's just like, oh, what if this happened that it's slightly realistic? Or would you like a mod that goes ball to the wall and uh, brings back the rub soda. Oh. oh, oh no! <laughs> oh god! Oh, that's uh, it's a little bit awkward because now Poland. <laughs> I I don't know why. Ah, the, the Austrians caved in. That's good news for me, uh, considering. I did annex them like a year ago. I think Mussolini might be a little bit schizophrenic and he might be arguing with himself quite a bit. All right, so, you know, someone at some point around here is going to have to recreate the Roman Empire and it certainly ain't going to be you, the Roman Empire. All right, so if I do the topple the Balkan Union, I get... Oh, <laughs> well, I get everything. Uh, hold on a second. I don't... I don't... Um... No. Um... I'm not giving anything away. Uh, never trust an Italian. Oh, I can form Greater Italia. There we go. Are you all proud of me? You know, I'm sorry. Turkey? I think you mean the rope. Oh, God. My invasion of uh, Turkey is just its just kind of like watching a disease slowly overcome somebody. Oh, this is heresy. You, you, can't, you can't start the Italians off with a tank division that doesn't contain like four cavalry and one tank. 
What the hell? Here go my, my first carriers out, and uh, obviously, gotta give it the correct name. So uh, I haven't actually mentioned it yet, but the mod has implemented a war exhaustion feature, which kind of like the film Speed, but in the opposite, if I go above a thousand points, the Italian bus will explode. So uh, I should technically be a bit more careful with how much I'm invading, but at the same time, considering no one else is really doing anything, I guess I kind of have to. You know, uh, just like the great Mussolini once said, sometimes you just gotta do it to him. Oh my bejesus. Finally, someone has actually started World War around here. Uh, well, Germany, you're looking pretty damn hot and you're at war with Britain, so I'm on your side. Although, I don't know how to make that feasibly possible, so I might just declare war on you too. Oh, well, I don't need to jo join Germany's faction. They could just join mine. Oh, um, apparently we were at war with Denmark too. I could just puppet them. <laughs> Take that, Germany. Yeah, that's, uh... That's, that's pretty terrible, yeah. Oh, yeah, did, did I fail to mention, by the way, Russia is also in this war against us. Don't know if I mentioned that. Well, uh, it's not looking too well for the British, considering they put all their troops in the Netherlands and in uh, Africa. Now I just kind of walk into England. But I don't know. Yep, we need to, we need to capitulate Mexico! Ah! And you all thought my tactical annexation of Greenland would be for nothing. Sure is nothing quite as fun as invading the icy, wintry wasteland that is Canada. And... Yeah, okay. Whatever. Oh, thanks, Hirohito. Boy, that'll make the difference here in Canada. All right, now, instead of the famous around the match, you know, in the timeline we knew, instead, it's <laughs> it's around the Shoshone Confederacy to invade Mexico to end the Italian-French war versus Br it, 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 Russia's in it too. It's complicated. You know, why does Bernanapi kind of sound like an Italian trying to pronounce Bernada? <laughs> There you go, all it took was a couple of legal incursions into some neutral countries, and we've reached Mexico, boys! Uh, I unironically want to die, though. Oh, there we go, we finally managed to- Oh my god, I have so much war score compared to Germany, what did you do? Now that is only one war down, though, we are still at war with... Well, just about everyone, now that I look at it. Uh, so something a little bit weird I've noticed is that, um, Ukraine has up to 460 divisions. J just a little bit odd. So, yeah, I didn't realize there were so many troops in the Netherlands either, so, uh... Gonna pump some... <laughs> oh, I, I do think that that does mean I'm about to knock out a good portion of the Russian military once I kill these guys off, though. Oh, did you look at that? It's He Long Soviet, you know? Oh, how would you describe the leader? Well, um, I don't know, he's... He's, he's pretty long. <laughs> uh, since I have no border with the Soviets, uh, the Russians, sorry, and I don't want to go through the monstrosity that is uh, Ukraine, I, I'm just sneak attacking through the Caucasus and it's working like a damn charm. Uh, yeah, I did in fact uh, knock out pretty much the entirety of the Russian military anyway in the Netherlands, so this is uh, a bit of a cakewalk. Uh, at some point I did a focus that unlocked the super heavy tank, which um, now that I look at it, it kind of looks like it has a giant minigun on the front, but I'm assuming that's not a minigun. But either way, I have so many factories free right now. I'm producing one a day of this amount of efficiency. Uh, El Duce is not really a good name. We're gonna, we're gonna call it the Big Pizza. There we go. Much better. Oh my god. Okay, one more war down. We did it. Now, I, I just want to get all of France. Oh my god. It took so goddamn long. Oh god. A after I've pivoted He Long's uh, communist commune or whatever the hell it was, it's now the He Long Empire led by... Oh. I'm the He Long. Who's Gal Matt? Not done just yet, though. Just doing a uh, little bit of cleaning up. Uh, speaking of cleaning up Germany, you know, I think this is a little bit overkill. Hey, uh, go over quick swift war to the Germans. That means I can finally go ahead and click the button. There we go. We did it. It's Rome and we got it. Miss Augustus Mussolini. Oh, this is terrible. So, yes, that was indeed the uh, the Rise of Italia mod for Hoi 4. Uh, a lot better than last time I played it, albeit, you know, it's just one of those mods that you kind of have fun with. Uh, it's, it's more so, it kind of actually is readable and playable now that everything's not spelt wrong and it's just all a bit of a mess. So, yeah, if you want to check out Rise of Italia, it is on Steam. Just search Rise of Italia. Uh, 
funnily enough, and it'll pop up. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe button down below if you want to go ahead and get yourself a History Boy merch hoodie. Go ahead and get that too, please. Uh, Susan doesn't like giving me money, so someone's got to get somehow.